بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد Dear listeners and uh, viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of our Ramadan Suhoor program on the NTA. Uh, today our talk is going to be on the Muslim and his neighbors. Uh, the neighbor is a necessary element of human existence. You have to exist in a community and you will have neighbors. Uh, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala has singled out goodness to the neighbor in the Quran. He says in Surah An-Nisa, "Wa'budu Allaha wa la tushriku bihi shay'a wa bil walidayn ihsana wa bi dhil qurba wal yatama wal masakin wal jari dhil qurba wal jari al junub wa as sahib bil jambi wa bin as sabil wa ma malakat aymanukum." Allah uh, he, Allah says and worship Allah and be good to your parents and be good to the near relations. Uh, and uh, the orphans and the poor ones and the near neighbor and the far neighbor jari dil qurba wal jari junub a neighbor that is uh, that has the ties of nearness to you of kinship and the neighbor that does not have the ties of kinship and as a result of this the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has categorized the neighbor in the neighbors into three he says uh, there is a neighbor that has got three rights over you, which is a neighbor that is a Muslim, uh, and he has neighbor, neighborhood, and he is a Muslim, and he is also a near relation. He has the rights of Islam, he has the rights of neighborliness, good neighborliness, and he has the rights of kinship. Then the second one is the neighbor that is a Muslim, but is not a relation to you, he is not a blood relation to you. He has the rights of Islam and he has the rights of good neighborliness. And then the third one is the neighbor that is not a Muslim and is not a near relation. He has the rights of good neighborliness. So the rights of good neighborhood it's, uh, is there to whatever kind of neighbor you have. Whether he is a Muslim or whether he is a non-Muslim. Whether he is a near relation or he is a distant relation. The fact that he come, he is to you as a neighbor, he gives him special rights. This is because this is a, a true belief of a Muslim. It is, is translated in his mu'amala, in the way he is in his relationship, in the way he relates to other human beings. And the ones that you are obliged, you are compelled to relate with is the neighbor. The, the, the rod joins you together. Nyanes joins you together. He, uh, he sees, uh, you both see your enterings and you are, out, uh, you are in, uh, going in and you are going out. You see what happens when happiness befalls you. He will be the first to know because of his nearness. When a calamity befalls you, he will be the first to witness. Uh, even before your near relations do witness if they are not neighbors to you. So the neighbor by compulsion he is near to you in terms of mu'amala, in terms of behavior and relationship. So the, uh, the, correct the correct influence or the perfect influence of the tarbiyah, the training of, of correct belief of Islam, it translates into the way you relate to those people who by compulsion you have to relate to them. Uh, so that is why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says, well, uh, 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 he says, uh, Wallahi la yu'min. He was sitting, he said, I swear by Allah, he does not have belief. Wallahi la yu'min. I swear by Allah, he does not have belief. Wallahi la yu'min. I swear by Allah, he does not have belief. Then the companions, they said, who is this, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Man la ya'manu jaruhu He is the one whom his neighbor is not at peace from the evil of what he's doing. That is, his neighbor is suffering from what he's doing of evil. This one, he does not believe in reality. His belief is incomplete. His belief is imperfect because uh, his, the fact that he has not made his neighbor to be at peace from whatever evil he is doing, he shows that he's not up to the correct belief. And uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was informed about a woman 
who is uh, always standing up in prayer in the night and fasting during the daytime. But her, pair, her neighbors are always complaining of the evil of her tongue. That is, she's abusive. She is condescending. Uh, she is uh, backbiting uh, the evils of her tongue. It, uh, it is always with the neighbors. Then the Prophet wasallam said she's going to be in hell. And then he was informed of a woman who was not that serious in terms in, in the acts of her, uh, of her devotion, not praying in the night, uh, uh, doing the night prayer, uh, not fasting, the, uh, the recommended fasting, but she's always good to her neighbors. And the Prophet wasallam said she's going to be in paradise. So the position of the neighbor is very, very important. And it is what translates into your, the actual influence of Islam and the belief of Islam on you. Because if indeed you believe in God, in Allah and the Day of Judgment, then definitely you will have to uphold the right of your neighbor. You have to maintain the good, uh, 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 the, 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 the goodness to him. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he said, Man Whoever believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, then let him honor, let him treat his, his neighbor very well. And the right of the parent is so immense that the Prophet wasallam said, Jibril did not cease to be uh, imploring, imploring me and informing me of the rights of the neighbor till I thought he's going to make the neighbor an heir to the, heir to the estate, an heir to the estate of, the name of his neighbor. That is, the neighbor will be included among those who will inherit his neighbor because of the immensity of the rights of the neighbor. That is, the, the neighbor has already become, it's as though the neighbor has become family. So this kind of feeling is what we need. Now, when we have good neighborhood, good neighborliness, then that will translate to peaceful communi communities. People will come together for the common good. They will come together to what of the common evil. But now, unfortunately, the way we live, you will find a neighbor, he will live for years, he doesn't know who is his next door neighbor because of he has, uh, he has caged himself he goes out, he comes in, he is not, he, he does not, uh, he is not even aware who is uh, his next door neighbor. Uh, this is very wrong and this should not be the way we should live. The, uh, the, 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 the Europeans that are living this kind of life, they are not happy with it. Uh, they, are not, uh, they are not saying that this is the best model. They are also complaining because this is not part of human, humanness. Uh, human being is something is someone that integrates with the whole members of the society. So let us uh, maintain the ties of uh, goodness to neighbors. This is part of faith. This is part of true iman. Allah Taala alam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala abdihi wa rasulina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi